Hello, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, happy weekend from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today is Friday. Friday is a weekend. Time is around uh, 9.30, 9.45. It's, um, it's a peaceful time because weekend there's no school, there's no honking. So, yeah, I woke up quite early, had breakfast, uh, did some housework, coffee and all that. And I'm in a good mood. Um, so I'm doing two videos for you. Month is almost ending, June. It's extremely hot and humid. So in this uh, time, I do mostly summer list. And summer can be of different occasion. It can be office, it can be gym, regular, or it can be like um, dating, clubbing, a lot of places. You know, you can use fragrance, you can look for occasion. So in summer, mostly people don't get married here. You know, this is in Bangladesh. The trend is people like to get married in November, December. This time the weather stays cool. So people are like relaxed. So they have this nice lighting all over the building. They spend, spend like thousands of dollars for doing that. But Winter is easy time for me to suggest fragrances. Hey, man, go with Parfum de Marli, uh, I don't know, Herod or uh, Carlisle, you know. Very easy to su like suggest those. Designer size, Spice Bomb Extreme. But in summer, what do I suggest? Because summertime, main challenge is the heat and humidity. You'll be sweating if it's outdoor wedding. And uh, the, if it's sunny daytime, you're going to actually warm up. The whole thing is going to warm up. Your fragrance is going to disappear very quickly. So that is a challenge. And I cannot say all these fragrances that I'm going to have five are going to be beast mode you have to carry atomizer for a few like make a decant of the fragrance and reapply every two to three hours okay uh for the, for the first suggestion if i show you you understand but mostly why i put them here is i think they will go perfectly with a uh, summer wedding if you're invited as a guest and if you're sitting someone next to people you know you sit in a table for dinner or lunch for the wedding you know like the feast people actually may compliment you as well and if you're looking to meet someone you know like in bangladesh we do that like not we younger folks if let's say you're going to a wedding your always first thought is hey i'm gonna meet someone bangladesh india uh, <laughs> pakistan so people actually look to meet single ladies and you can impress them so this fragrance i think they smell really great I'm gonna be great for summer let's go one by one first fragrance i'm gonna show you my favorite i'm holding it wrong vph versace uh, puram okay how much i loved it since the beginning of my journey i actually made this one of my signature scents because it smells so masculine it smells so confident clean fresh floral aquatic yet masculine not feminine you know this is the brilliance of this fragrance they made it a masculine aquatic floral perfume uh, every time i wear this it does not perform more than two to three hours this is the downside of this fragrance and i do hope uh, versace sometimes come up with a versace purum uh, like intense or puffa or absolute or elixir something like uh, this same smell like boss bottle boss bottle edp intense i hope they make a edp intense of this that way this fragrance is gonna be immortal okay immortal nothing can beat this because the scent profile the scent uh, bubble around you is gonna be massive and the this smell is just like a winner okay so i think yeah man every time that nice uh, neroli uh, just so lovely the lemon perfect fragrance for wedding and i think if you have a decant with you every two to three hours respray people will love the way you smell if you wear light colored uh, dress up okay like a suit or something this is going perfect very high end versace puram my number one number two i'm going to show you is the fragrance uh, from house of latafa it's a dupe it's a clone of uh, bulgari's tiger bulgari's tiger is the nicest fragrance if i had uh, the price range within 100 150 dollars i would recommend that i used to have it a finish my bottle never gonna buy it again so i do have few dupes of tiger one of the best one is alkyam silver from their niche line this is from the i think latafa's pride line pride is their niche line so it goes to up to like 40 45 dollars and i think it's worthy every penny because of how long this lasts you can go turati blue you can go rubroca theorem many others many other dupes there but this thing is one of the finest blends and it's so so beautiful okay so alkyam silver check out my review then you'll see this one projects a lot as well but the cap is so tight i don't want to go to the wedding anymore <laughs> it's like a war taking this out so this fragrance basically like man it is strong it's juicy and it is full of grapefruit zesty grapefruit and woody notes so very sweet grapefruit if you Try this fragrance, then you'll see what I mean. Warm weather, this is magic. Even in winter, it perf performs. Okay, Alkyam Silver. Uh, that is a great fragrance and very good bang for buck. 
Number three is going to be a fragrance. Everybody's going to say, boo, is the worst fragrance you suggested. And this is the most uh, common perfume. I understand. But in high heat, sometimes, you know, people around you, you know, they are not all uh, fragrance enthusiasts or specialists. They like something maybe familiar, yet very pleasant, especially women still love this fragrance. This is Dior Sauvage. Simply speaking, Dior Sauvage, okay? Uh, good old Dior Sauvage, not anything spectacular like brand new it has calibri and bergamo a little bit of a blue touch a little bit of ambroxan and you know this they have thousands of fragrances now that smells like this so this was inspired by sort of bloody chanel uh, bloody chanel doesn't last as much as this this is a better value than chanel so i would say buy a 200 ml it will serve you very well if you spray this like eight to ten sprays i don't think you need to reapply in the wedding if you see it in the ac room hall banquet hall even outdoors if there's good fan this is going to project a lot okay so i would still say this is a good choice for our conditions uh dior sauvage uh maybe not in the us so much okay like usa uk people will be like oh oh no again that's sauvage every reviewer hates this fragrance okay but i love it dior sauvage is trusted buddy a uh, nice little fragrance for uh summer okay so now number two and number one two major beastly fragrances in the fragrance community at this moment i could have made it top 10 list but i made it five i think that's quite enough this is kenzo home marine okay one of my most favorite summer fragrances still today this thing is pure magic okay there's a new one coming out i want to try that as well i forgot the name but this dna it is like uh the kenzo om edt intense and edp but made it more marine like so imagine kenzo om edt intense uh had a breeding with uh bulgari aquamarine okay if you mated those two this is what you're gonna get it is floral it is kind of uh, metallic it is kind of spicy but also aquatic very long lasting this fragrance is a very masculine perfume so do not put too much women love masculine fragrance but not too much women hate too much cologne guy okay i'm telling you from my uh, observation from my <clears throat> people who told me like some guys told me like bro i put like aventus like 15 sprays and she hated it i'm like why would you put 15 sprays you know because it's overwhelming it's too strong so you want to be pleasant but don't want to be that cologne guy that over sprays you know so that's not pleasant this thing two to three sprays magic okay you can wear this with a suit or just semi-formal it just does the job it's a very trusted bro it is a maybe a brother of dolce gamma like blue or intense which is also a great choice but that one has some pepper and some uh some people say too much of uh, ocean vibe, so they get an eggy vibe. So I'm not recommending that. Kenzo Marine, check it out. This is amazing. So this one gets beaten by number one. And this is my most, if I have to suggest one fragrance out of all this uh, for performance, two sprays. You can cover two weddings on one day. No joke. Daytime, nighttime, summertime. Performance is not an issue. This is straight up a beast. You know, this is a boss man fragrance. I had at first i got this there was no review on this i was the first one to review it but when i reviewed it i did not know what this was is a clone of someone recently said it is uh, inspired by louis vuitton imagination and i guess i'm just gonna take his word for it this is amber oud by al haramein aqua dubai <clears throat> so the name is there the bottle is there i think this extra perfume okay yeah, extra perfume and when i say extra perfume usually some companies what they do is they make some fragrances just to call it like it is intense they call it like animal intense you know and when you spray them and they just literally last one hour this is the cheating of designer brands nowadays i was so disappointed in few fragrance releases man i paid more than hundred dollars and to get uh average performance not okay middle eastern houses you can count on them and to beat all that this is a very beast mode scent when i put this on i literally have to take a shower to take it off this fragrance is going to project in the whole hall okay you're gonna like overshadow the uh, groom you know whatever he's wearing maybe he's wearing chanel maybe he's wearing something a niche you can destroy his perfume trust me this is as potent as shura but it's a pleasant uh fresh uh, maybe there's a lot of zestiness aquatic and very clean and fresh fresh vibe like uh, coming out of laundry but again do not over spray one spray to two spray one in the front one in the back that's all you need okay this is the most potent summer fragrance out there. This one can beat Amiri Sultani by Arabian Oud. That, that, that good and that strong. So this is my number one today. Uh, Aqua Dubai by Al Haramein Amber Oud line. Beautiful bottle, beautiful presentation and beautiful fragrance. 10 out of 10, right? So do let me know uh, if you're attending summer weddings or uh, do you enjoy them? And what do you usually like to wear in summer for weddings? Okay, have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon and happy weekend to all of you. Bye-bye.